name's Miranda and today I am here to react to episode 9 of season 3 of Nancy Drew. This is the mid-season finale of season 3 which is very interesting because it's only 13 episodes. So when we come back there will only be 4 episodes left of the season and there is just so much happening right now that I cannot even imagine how they will be able to wrap it up without leaving it on some kind of cliffhanger and the fact that it hasn't got renewed for a season 4 yet. I know it isn't like a big deal because CW hasn't renewed any of their shows yet and it's still really early in like the TV pilot kind of like it's not when you start renewing shows normally it's more towards like May or April but it's just like that anxiety of not knowing is really getting to me. <laughs> yeah it was highly weird and suspicious. <laughs> you know what no one can blame you for that because it's one thing hearing it and then it's another thing seeing someone actually take the face of their daughter and be like this is fine so I'm not gonna blame you before for being excited now the fact that the writing's a bit on the wall <laughs> and you see that this is maybe not as good as it should be I feel like that's more important wait she is in Maine though isn't that gonna look guilty yeah <laughs> thank you I was like you can't flee the scene of the crime I knew that was how she was gonna know about it. It's so funny because it's such like a like good explanation that'll make it so like anytime someone's like I need your help like you don't have to go through the whole thing of how they found out they can just be like I read the website and it also makes sense for like nowadays like no way someone will be able to do this without someone documenting like all the weird stuff that's happening so it's funny that like they just came up with like this explanation that makes sense. We got a haircut! Ooh so sassy. <laughs> Thank you. Look at him go. He's totally showing off right now. Yeah, that sounds like Hannah. The more I hear it, that sounds like Hannah. Oh my gosh. Ace is in his element. I love it. Oh, so that was like the signal for how she knew that it was back. Or Temperance was back. Okay, Ace. Look at him! He's going toe-to-toe -to -toe with an FBI agent being like, mm-hmm. I can't get it like that. I feel like this is the most Ace has spoken in episodes. I love when he is like, when he talks, because he's so like, you know, in the background for so much of it. I love when he talks. He's got so much to say. Oh dear. That's a lot of ghosts to deal with. The last time they had the nor'easter too, that was when the people from the Eclaica moved in. So I wonder if anyone else is going to be coming in that we don't want around. <laughs> Ace's haircut looks so good this episode, guys. Like, I feel like it was getting long before. Now it looks so cute. It looked cute before, but now it's like... They know each other without even having to say it. Jealous. <laughs> Des, I love you. He didn't even try tonight. He was just like, wait, who said I have feelings? He was like, I don't have feelings. Like, there's a difference. Uh-oh. Hannah, if this is you, we're trying to help you. Unless the more they go down there, the worse they go. Jeez, everyone's dodging and weaving these past few episodes. Oh, fudge. That looked like it hurt. At least that's why we know he's knocked out. It wasn't like him by himself now, because they showed that in the preview. I don't think he's the one that's going to die. Because one, I have pointed out, and other people have pointed out, all the clips were with Bess when the supernatural things occurred, except for that one first one with Hannah. So I feel like either she's trying to warn about Bess, or she's trying, I think Charity and Temperance are actually in cahoots together. Because I feel like they're basing all their premise right now on the fact that like they had a fraught relationship, but from what we saw of Temperance, it seems like there's some plan that's been in motion for a while, or something like that. And I just feel like Charity is not, um, not the, the ghost we want on our side that we think we're going to have right now. 
I don't think he hated her. I think he actually loved her. Like, it looked like he said he was sorry for doing that to her. Like, maybe he had to. I'm gonna guess not fun. Yeah, not fun. Oh, he's so sweet. Hopefully he sticks around for longer than any of the other chief have. Like, temp um, Tamor disappeared and the other guy disappeared McGinnis. So hopefully he sticks around because I really like him. It's punishment is what I would think, right? He thought he deserved it. So he caged himself in here. Does that mean he had already turned into the copperhead? Or he knew he was going to turn into the copperhead then? Yeah. Yeah. Love? <laughs> yeah, thank you. Oh, they did it together? But did she know that he was going to split her soul in four? What the heck is a lover's pact? I have been thinking about if, like, all this stuff about, like, souls, how they've been talking about so much, and, like, lovers. I wonder if they're going to bring in, like, the existence of, like, soulmates with Ace and Nancy. I think would be really cute. She is 19 years old. I'm so sick of them giving her love interests that are, like, 25-year-old men who have gone through college and jobs and life and marriage in the case of Tamora and have been like, yeah, this 19-year-old girl's cute. <laughs> Oh no, they have to share the jacket now because they're both so cold. I don't mean to be a Debbie Downer, but I thought that when Ryan and Nancy first went out this way, didn't the hatch open from the bottom too? Like, I know if it's sealed, they obviously can't open it, but I feel like they're being like, oh, Ace will open it. And I'm like, can't you guys try and open it? Like, use some of your muscles from, because it opens from both ends. That's usually how a hatch works. <laughs> <laughs> He's so funny. I love him. Not with Nancy, but I love him. But why was he willing to split her soul just for his mom? That's what I'm confused about. Yeah, but I don't think he wants to destroy her pieces of the soul. I think he wants to put them back together. And maybe Temperance can help with that. Not now, buddy. I'm sorry. I know you guys have, like, hypothermia, but... <laughs> so you have been in love and it cuts to A's. You ain't slick editing. You ain't slick at all. Ugh. Hannah's like, it's not charity, biatches. I'm trying to tell you. The fact that they don't recognize Hannah's voice, none of them, I would be like, y'all fake ass friends. You don't recognize my voice when I'm screaming at you through a radio? Okay. Bess is being very harsh this episode. And you know I love my girl Bess. I understand that this is because she feels like she made, was made a fool with temperance and like trusted her and now is looking for like she's like projecting those feelings onto this of being like I trusted someone once and I think it's a mistake like I'm not falling for it again so that's why I'm trying not to be too harsh on her oh no she's blacking out uh oh go get her she could do anything Oh gosh, I could never date someone whose job, like, they would just be like, it's like dating a therapist, you know? They're just like constantly like psychoanalyzing you. If they kiss down in this creepy tunnel, I'm closing the computer. Like, I'm sorry. Oh, thank goodness. I really feel like they were gonna kiss if he hadn't just shown up. What if they kissed anyway and he showed up? Oh my gosh. I have a couple things. No, I think she's saying you're gonna die. Oh, <laughs> what was that? He's like, <laughs> He's so, like, looking at both of them, like, what's going on here? <laughs> oh, no. She's by the water. Oh, gosh. This is just, like, um, it's got, like, remnants of, uh, Lucy Sable, a Glaco. Like, I feel like anytime someone's just, like, walking in the water all creepy like that. Ooh, oh my gosh, it's gonna be freezing. I can't even imagine. This has all been less than like a year, right? Like they're just now getting into like winter for this, right? Because it started in July season one and I feel like this has all still been like less than a year. A lot has happened in less than a year. Oh, sweetie. Oh, he's talking to her. He's such a sweetheart. Like, I want him to have a love interest. I just want him to have an age-appropriate love interest. Ha <laughs> ha. Look at Ace. He's like, oh, gag me with a spoon. 
It's Hannah. You have not lost your lead. You found a really good one. Ace. He's like, don't discredit yourself. You're so cute. Oh, when everything happened with Nick. Oh, jeez. That's really tough. I like, though, I do like, I've said this before because they did this last season with the college girls. I like that they mix in, like, stuff that seems like it's a ghost or something, but then it turns out to just be, like, a real-life thing. Because I think they do a good job of mixing that, and, like, I want them to do more of a balance of that, of, like, thinking something's a ghost, and then it's actually, like, a trauma response. Or, like, you know, that girl was running away. <gasps> oh, gosh. Oh, is Nancy gonna hear? I feel like Nancy's, like, so team temperance now, and it's like, girl, let's calm down for five seconds and think about how maybe that could have been fake. <laughs> Unless someone's dead on this show, I don't believe them for a second, you know? Like, injured to the point of, like, no, you're you're like, oh, someone will heal me. Who gets a plate for just one cookie? Like, Nancy, I love you, but that's a waste of a plate. Get a napkin. <laughs> she's cute. She is cute when she's in, except for Gil, but, like, when she was with, um... Oh, and, like, she gets, like, giggly and cute in her relationships. <laughs> I was wondering why you could see her in the scene, but that's right. why. It's true. You kind of just learn to roll with it. Oh, so, like, people that are related. That's still a hard thing to narrow down. You'd have to figure out who the two other people that were near her that died were. Oh, so this makes sense now because I was wondering why it was always guys, but like only men were allowed to be soldiers back then. Obviously there could have been nurses and stuff, but I doubt there were like a ton of nurses and they had charity with them. What? He can't just tell her now. I love this. This is so like when you really like someone and you're like, I can't, I can't. <gasps> she sent it. Yes, miss. I love you. I love you. Oh my gosh. She better show up. She better show up. <laughs> He's like, I gotta get out of here before she reads the text. Her hand's on her phone. Oh my gosh! That was just like when he showed up at her house and she was like, I gotta go, bye! It's just so cute because it's like when you really like somebody, you don't want to risk it. And he like texts her, let's talk three hours from now, even though we're right in front of each other right now. <laughs> She's so distracted. Like, he's clearly, like, lingering being, like, waiting for, like, a sign that, like, he can stay longer. And she's just like, he's texted me. Oh, my God. Guys, I know they're not going to confess. Like, something's going to happen. She's not going to show up or something. But, like, ugh. hopefully she takes pictures of the, the letters. Because I don't think people are going to believe her just on her word, unfortunately. Yeah, you generally don't want to write, you know down your whole like if you got away with it don't then write a letter down about how you got away with it oh she's taking pictures smart girl smart girl wait why is it blurring that's weird oh some kind of charm yeah i knew that smart woman but now she knows that it's gone too so she's kind of screwed oh yeah best is red tea for battle freak yeah i wouldn't do this like, I don't think we should be messing with things like this. Why did it just turn to Seppa? Uh, oh, she doesn't see him. She doesn't see him. What? What's going on? What's going on? Why is he at her house now? How'd he get there? It's Hannah. Hannah's the one that's been knocking. All day, honey. It's been weeks. Look how disappointed she is. She thought it was Ace. Hopefully they realize he's missing, though, and, like, he didn't stand her up. Why can't she see us? Where are they? Is he dead? He better not be dead. Is it snowing out too? What am I seeing right now? Yeah, where are we? That's a very good question. Oh, listen. Listen, Copperhead and Charity and Temperance. I don't even know if you're wrapped up in this, but you listen good. I was fine when you were out killing random men and getting after that freaking cafe guy that sucked. And when you were all weirdly attached to a doll, I thought it was creepy. But you know what? I was willing to roll with it and just let it see how it plays out. But you get in the way of Nancy and Ace. 
finally confessing their feelings for each other. And we have a big problem, understand? You do not get in the way. He was gonna confess and now she's gonna go for Parky because she's gonna think that he stood her up even though hopefully they realize that like Ace is missing rather quickly. Like I know they don't forget about like the person because they've been remembering Hannah, her going to confess to him at the end of season two and him being gone. I swear that's what's gonna happen. And then it's not gonna, and then season four will be like more pining. And then maybe season four they'll finally get together. Like I just, I have a gut feeling that's what it's gonna be. They're not actually gonna get together this season. Uh, but I do think the only thing that's like hanging me on like more is I feel like the stuff with like, they've been so building up, especially lately, like Charity and Beckett having this like lovers pact and how like love like tore them apart or, Like, you know has caused all this destruction and mayhem and I just feel like if Charity and I don't know if Charity's involved But if Temperance's plan, which I think is to use Nancy's, you know Body to put her daughter in Nancy's body. I feel like Ace might be the key in like getting Nancy back or saving Nancy or something like that Because he's gonna be her soulmate. I'm just pissed like Copperhead You've pissed me off now. I'm just like, oh, so, oh, it was such a good episode, but so frustrating. Now we have to wait a month until, like, who even knows when she's going to see Ace again. Like, that's the, I need to, I need to go relax. I need to just decompress. Okay. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Because now he knows he loves her. It's fine. And she just thinks that he stood her up. It's, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. So, yeah. Anyway, if you have seen this episode, please feel free to leave your thoughts about it down below in the comments. Also, make sure to give a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah.